think he's, people sleep on him a little bit. He definitely, really can fuck definitely, rap. he's definitely tough. the shit. I like the, I like his crowd participation. No, yeah, art. so that's what I like. Yeah. Yo, jump in the joint and was like, I'm like, you better do it. He get the shit. <laughs> Philly, why did you jump in the crowd? Because I wasn't performing. But he was rapping me. though. He, was, he, was he came through rapping though. Right, yeah. Liddy off the Hennessy ass. Yeah, fucking you. Shout out to my man's and them, yo. But um. I like the fact that he do the crowd participation with the chants and shit. But it was a lot of dope artists there. You had motherfucking um, Bossed Up Local came through, blessed Shout the stage. Out Shout out you to him. You feel me? Uh, was it TDE Day? All them little niggas, they was lit. First and foremost. And um, Box Check. <laughs> this nigga was lit. Box yeah. Check was lit Box as a motherfucker. A like, and the uh, TDA? TD, yeah, it's yeah. Them niggas TBA. was lit too. Like, TBA. we got a lot of talent in the city. And that's just, this is why we made this platform for y'all. Because it's a lot of talent and motherfuckers out there that's not getting the shine that they supposed to be getting. Yeah, yo. People got to support one another. Right. You know? yeah, right. That shit was definitely dope. You know, I was sick still. We worked through it. This nigga was lit happen. too. All the way. I'm always on a hundo. On hundo. 10. On ten, lives wait, on wait, ten. Wait, what were you doing? You were shining like a. I was shining like a Dahama. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? But I was a little under the weather. But you know, we kept a professional. We had mad fun and shit, and, and can't wait for the next one. And yeah, make sure y'all stay tuned because we got some shit cooking up for y'all. So I want to tell y'all real quick about my little trip to West uh, South Philly South yesterday. South Philly. South Philly. Yup, yeah, yeah. yeah. Shout out to South Philly, man. Yeah, so I went up there um, for a modeling call, the very last minute I seen it. I'm like, oh, I got to do this. It was my day off from my 9 to 5, so I had to make moves. That's what we do at Intune Radio. We jump hey. to them opportunities. That's right. So me and my sister, we packs up, we drives down this bitch. Yo, Baltimore and Philly are definitely alike. Yeah, a little bit. But these niggas' streets, I think their streets are way worse than ours, yo. Like, and niggas don't pay attention to signs and nothing. They yo, just first of driving. all, that shit is okay. First of all, the crazy thing about it is, I was I was so pumped because I seen the lights over the head. I was so pumped, like yes, they got mm. lights like Baltimore. You feel me? Mm. Like I hate joint. DC. Like, but no, they have DC lights too. They have the side ones. It's mm. different streets. And we was downtown. I think it was after we finished everything. It was downtown that we was down there uh, trying to get to the bank because I had to pay for fucking tolls. I had no more yeah. cash on That's because she don't know, how to, she don't know how, how to hit the back way so you can avoid them. Right. So we driving down. Yo, it was sending me easy, it was sending me down fucking alleys and everything. Oh, yeah. So I'm sorry. I got to tell this alley story. So what happened yo, the alley, I promise you, was probably as big as this table. <laughs> I swear to God, like tight as a bitch. Huh? Tight as a bitch. The fucking roads was like it looked like something off of uh, the Ninja Turtle movie. Yeah. Like, like I knew Raphael and was ready to jump out and get the fighting. <laughs> yeah, sure. Yo, like it was crazy. Like, yo, we driving down this road. My sister automatically freaking out. Like, yo, what did we? You sure the GPS took you on this road? I was like, yo, it took me down the street. It told me to turn right here. So we driving, yo. Know, next thing you know, I'm just trying to focus on not puncturing a fucking tire because the fucking roads is so crazy. She's noticed this whole man standing on the left hand side. I do see the man, but she noticed a man next to him on his knees, yo. Mm. What? <laughs> yeah. What, what had happened next? Because I'm driving. I'm. You think I was gonna stop? I just kept driving. So what if he was like someone shot him, or so why was he? No, he leave? was he was well woken. Like, oh, so wow. of course this nigga, she going in like. Oh my God! His situations. He's doing. He said he's doing favors for the rock. I'm like, yo, this is crazy. crazy. Yo, it's crazy. It just was crazy. Yo, it was a nice little time. We had fun. I drove back middle of the night, but it was cool. So we definitely was, going. What was the outcome? Oh well, I won't find out till Sunday, so I'll let y'all know next Friday. If, right. You know, my yeah. name was well, posted. You know, in remember, that. remember your people. Of course, then. of course. Yeah. I'm rep y'all wherever the fuck I go at. You already know. But I fucks with Philly my little bit of time seeing it in a couple hours. I was there. And that was I'm your first time. Back. I've never been to Philly ever. That was my first it's time. Good energy there. It's, it's definitely is. It's first so of all, hard, all them men with them beards though. Oh, yo, Boy, this nigga, yo. All them fine specimens, brown, dark, light. Hazel, just all kinds niggas of said colors. Hazel Ooh. niggas. Just hazel niggas walking <laughs> yes. around, yo. I'm definitely going to be back for the summertime because I'm looking for a nigga. That's so. crazy. <laughs> you want to have a summer? Yes, we, yeah, we It's only like an hour 45, 50. It ain't even hours, that. It's not even that. And, and the way I be. For no if I go with y'all, we ain't paying for no toes. Yeah, like. I got the easy pass, though. So. Yes. I'm, I mean, I'm with that. it. Y'all, so we doing, we doing Philly, oh, Airbnb? Okay. Airbnb, I'm with all that shit. I got a whole bunch of family in there. I don't stay in no hotels. I got 
houses to go to. Well, so, you know. we we definitely gonna be back to Philly, lit yeah. and ready to fuck it up. Definitely. Summertime, hella basketball courts too. I was fucking with them basketball courts. It was like 10, 11 o'clock at night. Niggas was still outside hooping. I'm like, damn, I'm like, do y'all niggas go to sleep? Like, it was Hell lit. no. Niggas trying to shoot their way out the hood. Yeah. It's either you got a wicked jump shot or you're selling crack rock. <laughs> you you well, selling crack I'm ready for y'all this summertime. Definitely going to be a lit situation. So Man. let's get to this industry news, though. Let's fam. get to it. There's a lot of shit going on. Shout out our bitch, Cardi B. Yes. The new album is coming next Friday. You know, mm-hmm. it's been pushed back a lot. The cover art is the cover art amazing is dope. amazing you know, amazing and she dropped the single oh, I like that K mm-hmm. fuck you doing man <laughs> I like that shit yeah. my man yeah. stepping it up but y'all like that we have my man stepped it up just First now. First of all, that Carly B, that motherfucker single she just be released, careful. Be Careful, was definitely coming at niggas next. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I thought that, but I loved it. But you know what? It might also be about Tommy. Either way, she was serving niggas she up. Was and you know that's what I love to do. She was vulnerable <laughs> I love to serve real. these niggas up. I love to drag these niggas. And she did that with that track. That shit was lit. I like it. I like the beat. I like what she's saying. It shows another side. People are hating on my bitch, though. Like, they're like, oh, what is As they always do. Not every song is going to be like Bodak Yellow. No, like she has, you have to I think change it up. Broad, you know, she can do different things. Definitely. Why don't you just put your phone on me? So you can be on my live, yo. <laughs> yo, yeah. so also, real quick, I'm not seeing somebody that, that's about to come out with some crazy music. Well, they already did last night. She dropped Tink. I don't know if y'all know who Oh, yeah. Tink Everybody is. knows that was Timberland's old artist. I have been artist. waiting for this bitch to drop music forever. And it's wait, amazing. Wait, 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 was she the one who did that remix to the One in a Million? Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's yes. Awesome. Yes. Awesome. yes, yes, yes. It's he amazing. Said, Leah, she, um, what's the, what's it's a little EP. It's not a lot of tracks on there, but every fucking song is lit. I love her. She's definitely talented as fuck. So shout out to Tank because that was crazy. I remember Timberland said he had a dream that Leah came to and said that she's the one. She's the next wow. one. She, she is. Need to yo, fuck she with dope her. as fuck, yo. And for the fact that he said she did that, man, it's, I hope he's still working with her and she pushing. She's dope as fuck. Like, she told me. Really dope. She said a story. Wow, that story about Puffy, though. How she saw him snorting coke or some shit like that, Not surprised. and they off they offered her some <laughs> shit, and she was like, "Nah, y'all gotta look that shit up on YouTube." She tells a story about how you know some of the industry is and how it's like fucking crazy, and how they try to get her to do certain things, but she never conformed. See, she's sticking to her script, and that's like probably SZA, why it took her so long. You know what I mean? She's yeah. gonna be tough. And though, shout out to bust. SZA, she just dropped a new. Um, Joy two what broken happened? clocks. Amazing. I like that song. What Amazing. Happened to SZA, though she was on crutches. Oh, I don't know. Who knows? This bitch is nigga just that dramatic. She nigga can come in every She don't give a fuck. I love her. She's she so free so spirited. Sad. She had the oh, yeah. in the crutches. I'm Always. Like, she doesn't care. She just be going ham. She uh, who knows? That free spirited bitch. I love her. But this like really hurts my heart. Yes, sir. Fab is one of my favorite rappers of all time. I love Emily too. I thought they're a beautiful couple. There obviously was a lot of drama though. They've been in a long term relationship. But he turned himself in the other day because apparently I, I like it, what you're doing up there. I thought, <laughs> I do. He don't understand. <laughs> you know, I thought it was kind of hearsay that he was, you know, alleged made some threats and assaulted someone. But then it came out that he actually punched her seven times in the face to the point that they had to remove her two front teeth. Man, listen. And then her brother and father came, got the guns out of the house, and he basically told all them, "You're gonna have a, I'm gonna have a bullet for each of you." And the whole he thing, got charged terroristic the threats. The whole thing stemmed from something in March. Like they got the beginning of March, they got back together. She apparently was in LA while he was in LA and he didn't know it and got on a plane and was like, I'm gonna kill you. I'm gonna hit you with a bat. I don't wanna go out like that. It's just kind of crazy though, because you never heard anything like that from Fat. I mean, to be completely honest, I remember when Love and Hip Hop was I mean I actually was a fan of yeah, that's was, when it was yeah. this was years ago. Yeah. Um before all of real real live goofy shit was going on. Um and they were on it was her, Chrissy, Jim Jones, him, Santana. Yeah, remember I remember that. And she was just like, you know, she had was done with him and everything and yeah. they ended up getting back together. And even then I started like looking like what is going on with them like but she was so hell bent on being a ride or die every day, and she right. ended up pregnant again with mm-hmm. their what third child because Damn her too. first yeah, but her first child is not his. But, right. but he, he still care. claims her as well. Yeah. Um, it's just so weird, and you never know people's backstories right. or what's going on. Um, but to be completely honest, like I'm not shocked. Hey yo, I feel like yo, I'm not shocked. The whole situation because she's so I don't know. Sorry, cut you off, cool. Philly, but. 
you see how she like move and she's never never too much talking like the most i seen her talk was with that love and hip-hop. don't she look timid don't she always Very look that timid, timid. Look? and then even you after tell that, he's been it doing was that like, shit. i did it was like and get off this so, shit i'm over don't. it she's so pretty too and yes she had her own money she styles a yeah lot she styles a yeah. lot of people the whole thing that's crazy about it like that's how he she met fed so, him. The whole thing, you know, like she said, like they got into the argument or whatever. All right, first off, he got cool out in LA. She was out there. You know, it had to be some shit going on. She knew that nigga was out in LA. Mm -hmm. He probably had a broad out there. Yep. She knew nigga, so she on your ass. And you, now you get mad when you find out them beat her up and shit. You feel me? But she had her brother and her father come get them guns because, you know, you got to think Fab must always go to the guns because they said he came home looking for the guns and they wasn't there. And that's when he wilded the fuck out, knocked the, knocked the teeth out. But the whole shit is like, damn, Fab, like, so what you do this all the time, bro? You go get the gun, Literally. bitch, I'm going to kill you. Bitch, I'm going to... He one of them type niggas. I yeah. know I, I'm a man and I be around all types of niggas who do wild shit. And Fab just rubbed me the wrong way with this because he, he really act like one of them type niggas. If you step back and look, he always keep his girl in the back. She always mm -hmm. got to shut up. He yeah. don't want to be seen with yep. her. He want to be like controlling every aspect of her situation. Well, he wasn't with that love and hip-hop hip shit at yeah. all. Like he wasn't. But and it's just but so you know, fucked up. I thought... I mean, we all knew he cheated on her. We saw right. the thing with Kim Bell, and Kim Bell approached her like, hey, I didn't know that was your man. Like, yeah, she knew that was his man. For a fact. No, she probably did, but she still came to her. And remember, Christy knocked her ass out. Right, for a fact. Because she knew her homegirl is timid, and but, she ain't about that life. Right. But bitch, I'm about that life. But right. It just, like, I just always thought maybe he was a cheater, and she needs to just move on and, you know, on the bigger, oh, better been cheating. And, and you got to think. Never stop cheating. To, like, that's just such an extreme. And you got to think, like, too. He been Crazy. doing this shit. Like, this ain't nothing new. Like, it's just that we finding out about it now. Well, I pay attention to a lot of shit, believe yeah. it or not. When I look on, um, I don't know if y'all, y'all know who Big Fendi is. Mm -hmm. Um, I fuck with Big Fendi a lot. He is hilarious. I see Big Fendi and him always like intertwine on Big Fendi Live and mm -hmm. everything like that. And when I see it and I be looking and just how Fab talk, he's even though back then that little story came out and he cheated, whatever case me, y'all have been, he's been cheating all he's this time. He's been doing this shit. Oh, yeah. And he's all, he's, yeah, it, just the way he talks and the way he says things to um, Big Finney and things like that, it's like, this nigga's definitely a fucking cheater. He's never stopped cheating. He's, he's always going to cheat. He's been 16 years. Yeah, they've been they together forever. He been they have two, two beautiful yeah. fucking kids together and plus her, uh, her daughter. daughter. And they, you know, they be out. Uh, Vince, I was surprised just of lately he's been having them like yeah. as a family out yeah. oriented and showing people yeah. and that shocked the hell out of me. Yo, yeah. fab, yo. I'm just very disappointed he at this point niggas, but I'm definitely yo. not surprised. He's one of them niggas that go to the gun, want to threaten a bro, make her feel less than who she is. Nigga, if I was her brother and, and father, we the fuck we move up. Like, Niggas would have fucked up. Her belt is everything. She's natural. This bitch is she yeah. is slaying. You know she father. know how to dress her ass off. All that like she it's a just, she it's sick. just sad. It's but just sad. Just, sometimes that happens. It's like you get into something, you realize it's too late. But when you got kids, that's not good for your yeah, kids. Yeah, that's what I really so what feel bad for. what do you want to say to your sons? Because like, he go, you know, I don't know if y'all see his, I mean, of course y'all do. His two sons, especially Johan. Yeah, he he's takes so cute. the fucking spotlight every time they out. What are you going to say to Yeah. What are you going to say? And it's like Emily's profile, she made it private. So obviously some shit really yeah. happened. Some shit did happen. And then with her daughter, like, the, I mean, her daughter is shit. like 19 her or something like that. Too. Daughter's beautiful. And it's like, you got to, so See this shit. Let, me, let, me, let, me, let me ask the people though. If y'all watching, you know what I'm saying, y'all hit us up at 444361277, right? And y'all just give y'all opinion on it. Can you leave an abusive relationship after 16 years? Can I mean, you, can yes. you it's leave always, that in my opinion, I think it's Is always it possible, but no, it's not easy. And clearly, there's a lot of self, a lack of self love. It's a lot of, um, you know, insecurities mm -hmm. there. She's dealing with deep rooted issues yeah. that she, I mean, if she's been in a relationship this long, like it's no way 16 years and then out of nowhere he puts his hands on her. Like, he's no, been he's doing been that doing shit. This shit. He's a bitch. And, so, I mean, and the other thing is he has a lot of money. So that probably, you know, he has the resources to. You she know, got paper too. Well, she, she, you know what I'm saying? But yeah. that might be how she had looked at it. Right. I mean, she you know? left, she had left before, I um, mean, got her own spot and everything. She's but of course, that didn't last. I think it lasts for maybe like six or seven oh, months, if that. Tired. 
I think it was like right when she was pregnant with a child, and it, that's probably why she fucking left. Yeah. Because she like you're not about to kill me in my fucking child. Like right. I don't have time. I'm pregnant. I don't have time. Pulling guns it's out just, on me and shit. It's still so sad. To me. Yeah, it like, is. You never, like I said, I, I never saw. I always thought he was a cheater. Maybe he was, you know. Oh, for a second, I mean, it's fabulous. Way, Bitches love it, him. But to take it to that extreme, yeah, and maybe that's wild. you know, luckily she's okay. She, he didn't kill her. Maybe this will be what wake her up. Wake her up, like. Everybody knows now. And you get some help, Fab. Yes. We ain't definitely gonna spend wish, a night on it, but get definitely, some help. Definitely, definitely wish um Emily Emily be some good ex- success, yeah, and hopefully she can sad. recover from this situation. Well, hopefully, it's definitely heartbreaking. Yeah. yeah. We gonna see, man. So let's talk about this nigga. Dmx. 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 Is in, man. in jail for a year, tax evasion. I'm be honest, y'all. I'm gonna pray. We need to pray for Dmx. I'm gonna tell y'all real. I'm gonna tell y'all some real shit. I'm glad he locked up. Why you say that? I say I'm glad. I glad. I'm glad he's locked up. Yes. Okay. He ain't get clean last time. DMX is the most talented motherfucker yes. in the game as far as OG. Mm-hmm. And that one little shit that happened to him with that fucking that white, mm-hmm. he hasn't been right that since y'all. That man had and that beige been up in him. Horrible for him, and he's so talented. Mm-hmm. So talented. I feel like he just needs some time to really get his shit together. First of all, when you hear this man speak, even like though that. he may be high up, he may be whatever. When he speaks, he is genuinely speaking from his heart, and he is very fucking talented. And I just think that he needs that year to just stay the fuck clean and get mm-hmm. his shit together. Like, I don't want to see any black man like that, but sometimes it's the best situation right. for him. Right, you're right. Like, as long as they can... It is, he's not stupid by far. No. I think that's what he needs. Like, because he can, you can tell he's still drinking. If he's not doing the hard drugs no more, he's still definitely drinking, yo. It's just, it's sad. He's like definitely a diamond well, that's was, just. He was doing crack at one point. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. It, it Somebody, bro, well, that's what happened. He when he was, I don't know if y'all know his story, but right. when he was younger. He, of course, smoked weed, but somebody had, the laced guy the he was smoking with had laced a blunt and never told him. And from that time, it opened up them gates. And that shit is a you know, like monkey X, to try to get off your back. X been going through it. You know, remember when they had the Rough Rider tour? Was it two years ago they had the Rough Rider tour? Yeah. And he came out there and then he started acting all wild and different. Yeah. People was like, oh, man, he hired up again. You know, celebrityism can bring all the demons that's inside of right. you out, you know? Right. Even X used to live down here and shit. You feel yeah, me? Like, if you was... He was on Pennsylvania Avenue. Yo, X, it's niggas out here that's in wheelchairs because of X. It's X really put working out here. X was really out here living, and it's wild if he ever ran across you in your in your lifesti- lifetime or whatever out here in Baltimore. But I could just say that the boy had a great, crazy struggle. And let me ask y'all, y'all think... If he'd have stepped away from rap like Mace did, he could have been a real preacher. And I think he'd have been really, yeah, like really he about that preacher. Yeah, like, I feel like he could go into like motivational speaking. Like mm-hmm. when you, I've seen him speak to people on radio shows or interviews, like uh, you know, like magazines, things like that. I've even seen him on some reality shows, and he's always the same, very loud, very lit, but he's speaking. The most truthful shit that can he's touch your fucking he's- touch your fucking heart and really mm-hmm. make you like. Yeah. Really? Like, you know what I'm saying? He's just real as fuck, but he just got that monkey on his back. Everything yo. he says, you feel. Yes. Like, there's a lot of artists, you know, you're like, I'm not really believing what you're saying. Right. Whatever that man says, mm-hmm. you feel every word. Have, y'all ever get to, have any of y'all ever got to see him live, perform mm-hmm. live? No, no. Yeah, I no. think everybody in the world need to see X perform at least I one time. I remember seeing clips, like, when he would do his songs, and he'd be on stage, like, almost crying. Yes. Like, really in there, like, when, um, what was it, when... Dark. What was it? It's dark hell is hot. Dark, it's hell is it, hot. Yeah. What is it? It's dark and I hell is hot. Remember. It's like dark that. and hell is hot. How can I not know that? It's right. dark and hell is hot. And but when I know when I see this man freestyle, it's amazing. Yeah. yeah. It's like the most. We miss you, actually. Yeah, we miss you. He gave us a lot of good music. What's your favorite DMX song? Who me? I don't want to tell you. Mine's is, I'm slipping, say, I'm falling, I can't that. get up. That was no, the real song. I, I, I gotta get the name of because I don't actually remember. Stop but it's like being one of greedy. I like the though. what was the one song? What them no. bitches yeah, want not, for a that's nigga? That's definitely not that's my, my man. Song. Ian the best. Like How was going down? Yeah. How was going oh, yeah. down is oh, like one of shit. my favorite songs. Man, the video. Oh my god! I, I always love wanted to see. I still buy. I was going down, well, was going down, was going down to this day. Yes. Yes. It's on to the zone. And I got to know. <laughs> hey. Really, what? Do the bar. Do the bar. No, I ain't gonna do the bar. Come on. I can't do the bar like him. <laughs> I miss yeah. you, your ex, niggas. Yo, I remember. Listen, when DMX first came out, and this is like '97. This is before I came down. And, the, um, Baltimore. Mm-hmm. Yo, this nigga had the whole Philly in a trance. Like, I swear to God, the toughest niggas was walking down the street just 
singing all his shit, you yep. know what I mean, talking to you like him and everything. Yo, what it is, my man. <laughs> I, up. I swear to God, every Philly nigga rap like X, yep. it was fucking crazy. Copy in his style, he was a trendsetter. Yeah. And Perfect. he put so many people on, there wouldn't have been Eve. He put the locks, he reinvented kind of the yeah, locks. He, yeah, he reinvented mm -hmm. all of them. Swiss beats, like Swiss what? beats became big. Game, Grease, every ball, oh my God. Yeah, what? Like, I think, I feel like. Death Jam Records, he I'm not going to say it wouldn't be any Swiss beats without DMX, but I, but I feel like we wouldn't have knew who Swiss beats was for as early as we did, we did. Right. even he though he went on to make hits in. for everybody else it was that rough rider years that rough riders was crazy remember the rough riders I album young, the first like, one yeah that's I my was young. shit yo my uncle was like yeah. a part of that whole little Drop. clan and i used to have like t-shirts with x on it and that's everything crazy. and she's like who is this bitch like and because you know they was like a whole fucking clan like on some wu-tang shit yeah they was yeah. tough yeah, yeah they i used to love the shit out of eve eve was like my what? favorite i still love rapper. eve she went over there and got her a nice little european man little european Rich, Yorkie. living her life fabulously, the fuck out of America. Charged she comes up, over huh? here, gets the bag, goes back home. I love her. But you know, they always talk about how Nikki was able to cross over and stuff. We're not gonna really talk I'm about. And speaking of Nikki, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Speaking of Nikki, you see this fucking. The bitch got a Benz. The bitch got a AK. She got a Benz, man. So you go she in the hottest for how long, and then boom, you she got, got her commercial. own. Where is the Benzo. motherfucking music at? Lorenzo. Like, she got a Benz. Nah, fuck sit that. Down. Shout out to Nicki Minaj, no, yo. Ain't no shout she got out a Benzo no. Lorenzo. No. How many ain't other? No shout out to how many ain't other? No shout out to listen. How ain't many no other? Shout out to her. I'm shouting you. Ain't no Nikki. shout out to her. How many ain't other? No shout out to rap her. Broads <laughs> got a Benzo Lorenzo. And how many of these rap bros got albums coming out and we still waiting on her? Fuck her album. She got a Benzo. No, it ain't no fuck her album. When the pink print come out? 2014. Y'all some haters, dog. I'm not hating at all. I'm not hating at all. There's nothing. To hate on, you need to be dropping some fucking music. She got a you supposed to be Lorenzo. number one, baddest bitch on the land, she the queen. Bitch. You need to be proving yourself. Drop some fucking music, please, and not hey, with somebody hey, else. Hey, track. Uh, Fuck out of here, <laughs> Nikki. Fuck, yo. You are the shit. The fact that you could be not working as hard oh, as most of the rest the of these bro. Uh, I love her. I love her. He he Shout out to her. He phony I'm not shit. phony. Yes, she no, got a Benz on Lorenzo. I don't give a fuck. How many people got a Benz that you know like oh, that? Right, so that justifies her not putting out music in 2014. She got man that shit they got it they got like it she was just Kay, dude, she got it or not, Kay? She got it, motherfucker. She, she driving a Benz on Lorenzo 700. Anyway, when you got that much money, why you don't have a Give me a car. Fuck so is that what she shit. this my thing? If you're saying fuck that rap shit or whatever, and you about to jump on or other other genres or whatever the case is, you do whatever the fuck you doing. <laughs> just do that then. Because all this talking shit like you the best rap she, bitch she out best. here, that shit is dead. We need some best. music. She the best. But we Cardi B right now. Why? How is she the best? And we ain't heard Cardi album definitely since running this shit now. Cardi running shit now. Um, but. she dropped her single last night and it's already number one on iTunes. All right, shout out to her, but fuck her iTunes when you got uh, fuck all but that. She just started. She's not at that point yet. Y'all, why you don't give my baby no music. love, y'all? She can't get no I love today. I want y'all to know that I used to. Was I was I not one of the biggest Nicki fans? Pink Friday so, was fucking hard as shit. Thank you. I was the biggest Nicki fan, but my thing is, I love people and I well, love artists and be a fan of a body of work. Uh -huh. Now, trust and fucking believe. If Cardi asks this album that she drops next Friday, if it's trash, you will hear me next Friday on this fucking show saying what the fuck I gotta she's, say about it. I'm she's keeping too it much real. Of a perfectionist. She kept pushing well, that's it why back, I kept getting pushed push back. back. But at the end of the day, my sure point official. is. Body of work, please. Like, every fucking body I'm a fan of and I rock with, they put out a body of work mm -hmm. consistently. And that's why I fuck with them. Nikki needs to step her game up. And she, at every fucking award show, and you going off talking about you the number one queen of, queen of rap, rap and all this going all off, Man. you're not. But show that's some not what love. She Let's, got a Benzo. No, I need oh, her to show Lil some Rinza. love and be humble at the same time. Thank you. Like, that's what Remy Ma did. Be I humble. Think, I'm not on the Remy train because I do Sit not down. think Remy is the best rapper. <laughs> Remy on tour now, though. But you know what? Remy she's definitely it. not the best rapper. But, you know but she's she putting did? in work. She brought out every female artist on on Head Hot 97 on, what was it, Summer? summer Yo, Summer Jam. Because yeah. she's humble as shit and she it's respects respect. the fucking legends. Like she respect Little Kim. They like had beef respect. and squashed it to make a song together. Exactly. Exactly, but moving along. I need her to come back with Fox. Tiffany Fox Haddish. Around, what we got on Tiffany Haddish? Okay, <laughs> I thought she got like a non-disclosure agreement, but she keeps spilling more tea. <laughs> Apparently, she's at some party, and Beyonce told her. 
Are you okay? Are you I'm drunk? I'm not drunk. Enough. My phone just slipped off. Go ahead. Anyway, some female celebrity that was intoxicated bit Beyonce on the face. <laughs> And Tiffany's spilling the tea. And Beyonce apparently stormed out and was like, Jay, Jay, but didn't do anything. Okay. What? Would, hold on, hold up. What would you do if a bitch bit you in your face? Um, I would definitely clock ass. Like, why would you bite? Now, if it's like, is it like a, come here, girl? That's like, what's hold up, hold like up, hold up. Like, why is she putting her mouth on your face? Like, but right? Like, I gotta actually way. know yeah. you for you to even yeah, be that you close. Can't even be doing that shit. To yeah. Me. I don't give a fuck if you want to eat me that bad. I would, if, now, listen, if I saw Beyonce in front of me, I probably would just freeze up because I wouldn't want to know what to do. Like, that's the one person I probably would get starstruck. I'd be like, oh my god, it's Beyonce. <laughs> like, give me some of that group of love. Queen. The yeah, fuck are you talking about? Chill. Yeah, whoever the fuck did, buddy, you got some motherfucking bowls. That's all I know. Cause that you went. And you said she screamed for Jay, and Jay ain't do nothing. No, he. I guess he. But I'm gonna tell y'all about somebody that I've seen somebody bite that my... bites their face, like they bite each other's face. And mm. I don't know if this is her. She, she's not really up on that status of Beyonce at all. Mm. Erica Mena, she bites bitches in, on the face. Like, so she likes bitches. I yes, mean, but know. I'm just saying. I've seen. Like... I don't think. I'm not saying it's her, but. I seen her like really bite a bitch on the face because she was that like on like on some turn up shit and just like on some fun shit. But everybody's yes, not on that no, shit. So now, but so now I already it was, said it could, like it, it was not fucking me. Like, yeah. I don't think Sana so Lathan yeah, got that see, much balls. Yeah, it wasn't like a. Yeah, it wasn't like a bitch. I'm but we talking you. about Beyonce here. It don't matter. It's she a human like everybody else. Right, she friends. is, but like I don't see her playing like that. Like, she playing like that. With a home girl. She was intoxicated, like she was on drugs. Nick beating the shit out of her. He I turned it that bitch. That's not. That's not even funny. To hey yo, did you see the um uh, me? Right. Did you see right the? Who sounds stupid? Don't do that. Don't say I turn her. Like, no, did y'all right. see the meme? Yeah, did right. you see the meme? They got the oh, meme. Well, well, the the of course, the internet is going to go in. No respect, y'all. None. Like, let that shit happen to you. That shit's not funny. It's not at all. Wait a minute. Bitches comments like I would still drink his bath water. What? Bitch, you sound stupid as shit. Dumb as ass hoe out. Beat out. Groupie as hey, shit. Yo, it's a lot of fucking no, groupies out there, yo. I'm just saying. He ain't the only. Absolutely not. But Speaking of putting putting hands on people, yo, y'all seen that fucking shit with Chris Brown? But he Come wasn't on, even really man. doing. It. He no, I'm saying it's fucked up that he was just playing with his homeboys and homegirls, and yo. they just yeah. seen that picture and just went crazy. The with TMZ it. take it and then blow it up and make right, it like and make oh, it look, crazy. He's, he's like the, that's fucked up. He's still a crazy woman beater. Man, get the fuck out and of here. The, alone, and yo. then the and then the the fact that they still going with it and the girl said like yo we were playing. Man, fuck and you all can look at the you can look at the picture and see that they were clearly. Playing. Man, it's listen, like why are they running it's along a whole with bunch this shit? Of, because, because everybody kind of already did something. But that was day. one they time, need to let it, they right? Need to let it go, but did Karuchi ever say he beat my ass? And I'm sure Karuchi would have been saying something. Yo, she did say that. Yeah, she did, and when? he did run down no, on. Her. There were a couple. I'm missing something here. But did when you see fall? like when he followed he her outside the club? Yeah, that was crazy. I'm not here what I want to hear. She did a whole tour while talking. Yeah. Listen, let's just say this though. Chris Brown's very emotional. He needed to learn a lot of things about controlling his emotion, his emotions and all that. But I don't think this is one of them instances. I don't like the fact that how the media is portraying this situation. He was just playing. He not beating the bitch. She cool. You know what I'm saying? But back to Fabulous. Okay. Let's see how what y'all say about Fabulous from the next year. Same thing y'all. Who? Oh, I was saying, I was uh, say you. Making hits on. Yeah. Like, that shit is old. You can't. I mean, he right. made a mistake. Right. Yeah. We gonna make excuses for him. He I probably I been. Come, I don't think I, I can come back from that. And Fab was no, one that's of my good. favorite rappers. No, because clearly this shit been going on for years, and so I've been right. We do. Like, they're the new gods now. Whatever they do, but some people worship celebrities. But shout out Correction. to um, <laughs> I, I want to um, I'm sitting here. T definitely put something. Definitely, we need to talk about on here. Shout out to Stephen Clark and his yeah. whole family. You feel me? Not shout out to him, but much love and respect. And big shout out to my bro, Demont Pender. He went out there to um, Sacramento. He did a whole portrait for him. Tell people what got... it is that don't know. All right, well, go, go ahead, go ahead, Tim. No, I was going to say, so the police, they've got a report that someone was breaking into cars. So they found him. He was in his backyard, and it was dark. So he had a cell phone in his hand, and they asked him to put his hands up. He put his hands up with the cell phone in his hand. Mm -hmm. They say allegedly they thought it was a gun, and they shot at him twenty times in his own backyard. Mm -hmm. Shot him, not shot. Not him. shot. No, I mean shot so, him twenty times. Up. 
Phones are small as shit these days. So what the right. fuck phone is looking like? And a why y'all ain't shoot the mother? His hands were in the air too. And, and why y'all ain't shoot the motherfucking kid who killed seventeen people and they was hopping over bodies to get up out the building and shit? For they didn't fact. do none of that. Y'all. Why don't you kill the motherfucker that killed all those kids in Connecticut? Like that killed kids. Yo, like, shit foul as shit, man. And, and the way and people don't see the system for real for what it is. The system is fucking. It's not flawed. It's made exactly to do what it's supposed to do, and that's to get rid of us, eradicate us, and decriminalize us and because we kill each other every day in the news we didn't desensitize the whole world to this man's plight we okay. talking about a father of two children we yeah, had two daughters they showed a picture of what he was doing before then and he was asleep on the couch with, with his, his fucking baby kid. Show. That shit was and he was muslim too so yeah, right a lot play into that and that's fucked up the whole a lot of people fucked up behind it. his brother he went into the whole he they had a whole situation where he was in they front of the watch. council they was in the council, and he, he walked up there and started chanting his brother's name. Like, man, y'all going to know who my brother is. It's fucked up, and we're not getting a lot of media coverage. Nope. Everybody's not sharing it on Instagram like they sharing a fab situation or whatever situation. But this shit is real. It could be your fucking child next. And I guarantee you're going to want 40 motherfuckers behind you right. saying, you know what I mean? Man, it's fucked up, man. It this shit is, is fucked up. But we ain't going we ain't gonna harp on it, man. Just rest in peace, Stephen Clark. Big shout out to him and his family, man, and his two daughters. I pray, that, I pray that God covers his daughters and watches them and raises them and put them around some real strong men to protect them, man. It's in tune radio. We about to go to the heat of the week and shit. You know what I mean? We was rambling and talking, but we're going to get into this heat of the week, man. We'll be right back, man.